Alright, I don't want to die either, so I'm just going to be firing water everywhere. Trying to put out at least a little bit of it before I find the dude. We might need to go inside of this thing. I'm kind of scared. Like, if we go in there, we might actually die. We might actually die. Oh, God. Okay, in here? Is there, Are they in there? Hello? Hello? Oh, my Jesus. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be checking out this thing which was built by Logs. As you guys can see, there's this little logo on the side. Uh, this thing is called the Windhulk, Windhulk Blackbow. It says right here, so V-I-N-D-H-O-L-K-B-L-A-C-K-B-O-W. So, yeah, interesting. Anyway, this thing is a speed boat, so we're gonna do some speeding and, um, boating. Let's get on with it. Alright, there is actually a mission too. I don't know whether we'll be able to do it. It's quite far away, but let's go ahead and set it as a course anyway. Uh, let's get back inside and we'll see if we can do this mission. So, get downstairs, go upstairs, and get to the driver's seat, which is right there. And, uh, let's see if we can get this thing moving. Uh, we got an autopilot, it could totally work. Alright, so, let's go ahead and turn on the engines. There we go. Let's go ahead and sink engines throttle. Okay, I think we're good. Bridge power is going to go on. Turn both clutches in, on, and let's go. Is it going to work? I think it's going to work. Yeah, all right, cool. We have started moving. Awesome. Okay, so in order to actually get there, let's go ahead and whack this in. Very nice. Go ahead and do this and do this. And... It should start going that direction, which would be amazing. Let's go ahead and speed ourselves up if we can. And, um, I guess we'll be good. Yeah, I might need to read some instructions on this. Okay, right, so I did just see something. This right here is actually our throttles. If I press up, this one actually goes up. That is one of our engines. Uh, I don't know how to actually turn both engines up. I have literally no idea. So, I mean, this is kind of interesting, but at the same time, I don't know what's happening. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. Let's go. Oh, God. Okay, off we go. All right, so it's W and S to actually do the left engine, and it's up and down to do the right engine. So that's how this thing works, which is interesting. Also, this weather is just how it spawned. Uh, I didn't put it like this at all, so random weather. Interesting. Alright, cool. So, we are just going to continue going. I think it's actually completely fine. While this is going on, let's jump out of our seat and turn on the lights if we can. Uh, what is this? This is front light, we got side nav lights, we got top nav lights, and we got rear nav lights. Alright, cool. Uh, right, let's turn the wings. <laughs> let's turn the wings. Let's turn the lights on in here too. Front deck lights, rear deck lights, and exterior lights as well. And this, to me, looks awesome. So, we've obviously got ourselves a little kitchen inside of here. We've got ourselves a big old sofa. we got a fire extinguisher, just in case we need one. Uh, we've got a bunch more seats right here. We've actually got, like, a little bar going on right here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if we go forwards, we've got some passenger seats, which is pretty awesome, too. If we go downstairs, we've got some cupboards and things. Then we've got open storage. Ah, oh, we've actually got some storage here. Interesting. There we go. Look at that. We've got two slidey door drawer things. That's actually pretty awesome. What is inside of here? So, we got ourselves a little bathroom. Okay, nice. With like a mini little shower thing. That's pretty awesome. Go ahead and close that up. And back here, we got ourselves our engine room. Interesting, with lights and its own little breakers and things. That's actually pretty epic. Nice. And we've got everything in here so that if anything breaks, we can actually fix it. That's cool. That's very, very cool. All right, let's go forwards again. Uh, go back outside. Close this door. Yep. And, um, go downstairs. Let's figure this out. What's underneath the stairs? We got ourselves a little bedroom with two beds. That's a bunk bed right there. Nice. Does that got its own little light? Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and close that door. If we go forwards, we've got, like, a main bedroom with a massive double bed. Awesome. Nice. And I think that's pretty much everything. We got ourselves a pump right here. This is, like, a bilge pump, I believe. So, um, we can actually repair that, too. Nice. It's really nice that he's actually, um... Put, like, glass here so we can see it, uh, just in case we get damaged. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. All right, cool. So, let's have a little look on the back deck and see what's over here. We've got ourselves a little seating area. 
We got ourselves a sofa right here and uh, a sofa right here too. And then we got some. Ooh. Ooh, watch this. Watch this. So, side port, side platform. Look. Look, they fold down. They actually fold down. This side does it too. There we go. It folds down as well. And then we've obviously got a table. Which is here. It comes up in the middle. That's amazing, actually. I really like that. Let's go ahead and close that back down. And do this. Rear platform. It's the roof. The roof folds down and goes backwards. How epic is that? I don't know why you would need that, but it's cool. It's very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and bring all of these back up. Just, um, for reasons. But look at that. That is awesome. That fits back up there. That fits back on the side. And so does this. Crazy. Also, the actual stoves work as well. We can actually turn these on. Both hobs, that's amazing. Get ourselves some roof lights and things like that. Um, but yeah, we are continuing to go. The weather has actually got better in terms of wind, but there's still a lot of snow. Um, yeah, nice. We've also got some sofas on the front too, just in case you wanted to know. But yeah, cool. I love this thing. What is our actual speed right now? I, I don't know what our speed is. Uh, is that it? SOG? I don't know what SOG stands for. Speed over ground? Speed on ground? Maybe? I don't know. 73? 72? I, that must be our speed. It has to be, right? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. I have no idea. Um, autopilot. So as soon as we get there, it should stop. Uh, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a new target. A little bit closer. There we go. And um, we should kind of be on target. Although we seem to be aiming slightly to the side. In fact, I already see it. Remove waypoint. There it is right there. Get your binoculars out. Ooh, it's very on fire. <laughs> it's very on fire. Uh, we should probably turn this off. There we go. We could drive it ourselves. A little bit wibbly wobbly, but that's okay. Uh, let's get over there. Let's slow ourselves down a little bit. Down to like six. All right, a lot slower than six. Let's go down to like two. There we go. We're going to dock up alongside. And uh, we're going to tie ourselves on if we can. If it's got tie downs. Uh, which I don't know whether it will. But anyway, right, we're going to continue moving forwards. We actually need to grab that fire extinguisher from back there. This is a speed boat, not a, um, a rescue boat. So, yeah. That doesn't have any tie downs. It doesn't actually have any tie downs. So we can't actually attach onto it. But that's okay. Right, we need... Oh, does the equipment room have equipment? Sorry, these drawers. Do they have firefighting gear? Any firefighting gear? No, just diving gear. Oh, that's annoying. All right, cool. Let's just start fighting fires from here. Here we go. I'm not jumping on there until the fire on the deck is out. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. Yeet! All right, I, I actually missed. I missed. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get on the boat now. Here we go. Uh, we got no firefighting gear, so this is going to be interesting. I might die myself because I've got no firefighting gear. Uh, but we need to rescue two dudes off this ship. So let's just grab them and go. Here we go. We got one on our back. <gasps> we have a rope anchor. We could actually attach to it. But fire spreads now. That was an update. Fire actually spreads to vehicles. Um, from one vehicle to another vehicle. Which never used to be a thing, but now it is. So, interesting. Uh, right, we're just going to pop these dudes back here. Uh, you're just going to sit in the back seats. So that's okay. I'm going to put the port and rear and table and back platform. Actually, lower the table down. We're going to move forward slightly. And then we're going to have to rescue the dude from inside of there. Okay. Here we go. Go forwards. Just a little bit. Pull up alongside. And um, that should be fine. All right, quick. We need med bed, med med things too. Med things. Uh, go down here. Med. They're inside of here, I think. No, they're not. Oh god, where's the med things? Inside of here? No. Oh, there they are. All right, cool. I found them. I found them. All right, we'll have two of these. Okay, so get on the to, onto the deck again. We need to jump over onto the big boat, and we need to rescue whoever's on here. Oh god. Eh. Alright, I don't want to die either, so I'm just going to be firing water everywhere. Trying to put out at least a little bit of it before I find the dude. We might need to go inside of this thing. I'm kind of scared. Like, if we go in there, we might actually die. We might actually die. Oh, God. Okay, in here? Is there, Are they in there? Hello? Hello? Oh, my Jesus. Okay, I don't know where they are. They're not in this bit. They're not in this bit. Go upstairs. Oh, God. Oh god, I could totally die in here. <laughs> I don't like this. This is actually kind of scary. Any people up here? No people. I don't see anyone. Let's go outside. Anyone on the top deck? No? Are they upstairs? No? I think they're on the lower decks. 
This is actually kind of bad. This is really, really bad. Uh, how do I go downstairs? I need to go down. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm very on fire. <laughs> I am very on fire. Where's this dude at? Hello, are you down here? Hello? This fire extinguisher might run out too. I'm actually kind of scared. Uh, forwards. I've never been on this boat. I don't know my way around. Okay, okay. Okay, here. Are they actually in here? Oh, they are. Hello? All right. All right. Okay, your boat is, is gone. I'm sorry. We can't really do anything about it. I'm just going to have to leave. Oh, my. Okay, right. Before it spreads to ours, put that out. Okay. And we're going. We're leaving. Oh, God. Okay, I might need to repair these dudes. <laughs> They need repairing. All right, here we go. Nice, and you. Good. All right, they're both repaired. Platforms are going to come up. Good. We can close this door, leave them outside. And we're getting out of here, boy. We're getting out of here. Go, go, go. We are out of here. Nice. Oh, dude, this thing is insane. It's so fast. It is so fast. All right, we just need to take these guys to hospital now, and that's it. We're done. You know, the actual mission was to actually put out those fires. It was to extinguish the fire. But, um, we are not a fire support vessel or anything like that. We are literally just a speedboat. So, we are just going to speedboat away. <laughs> um, I think we can actually go to the fishing village. That's probably fine. Uh, I don't think there's any others on the way. So, yeah, we're going to go all the way back home. All the way back to the dock. Easy peasy. All right, go ahead and plumb it in. There you go. Go ahead and set this and do this. And voila! It's going to take us all the way home. Awesome. Alright, cool. So yeah, there's not really too much else we actually need to do with this thing. It is completely fine in these waves. I don't even know what percent these waves are, because I haven't set the weather at all. The weather is doing its own little thing. Uh, that's why it's getting dark. There's the sunset right there. It's snowy, and it's actually wavy. And it appears to be dealing with every single one of these really well. Really, really well. I love it. Okay, so uh, since we can actually do more things with this boat, we're going to go ahead and press next, and we can actually toggle between a few things. Uh, we've obviously got like a little radar, sonar, thingamabobby right here. We've got ourselves a little map kind of thing going on. And we've also got our camera. Uh, and that is for both of these screens. I believe they both do the same thing. Uh, down there, I believe that's the clock and that's the temperature. All right, nice. Yeah, I think that's everything. This is our RPS. We can actually change between fuel as well, uh, our range, and also our temperature of the engines, of both engines, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we get ourselves a trim, too. Don't really know how the trim really works, but uh, it seems to be working quite well. And, um, yeah, I'm actually really pleased with this thing. It's working really, really well. You know what? I was actually going to deliver these guys back to uh, the base um, and then sort of test this boat out a little bit more, upgrading the waves to 100% and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to do that now while we're on our way back. We're also going to put it up against the tsunami, too. So let's get on with it. Okay, so this is 100% wind and uh, obviously 100% waves at that point. Um, it bobs up and down quite a bit, but actually it is extremely stable for how small this boat actually is. Um, also, the autopilot is keeping it on track, which is pretty awesome. Um, the tsunami is going to be behind us, so maybe because the actual hospital is inland, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to surf the tsunami into the base. Into the hospital. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to assume it doesn't or won't. Um, I'm going to bring the dudes inside just in case we go underneath the tsunami. So let's put them on these seats right here. And uh, I'm sure the rest of it will be fine. All right, there we go. Close the doors. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Here we go. Yeah. Nice. All right, okay. So we need to sort of wait for the tsunami. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to slow down quite a bit. We're only going four now. Uh, we need to wait for it to get here. So actually, I'm going to stop uh, pretty much, and then we're going to go again. It's going to be amazing. Okay, we're literally just bobbing around, waiting for this tsunami to hit us uh, so that we can actually surf it to the hospital. Uh, I mean, that makes sense, right? We just got to rescue these dudes, surf our way to the hospital, and we'll be good, I think. To be fair, though, I've never really tried this before, so this might not work, or it might work, or it might not work. I don't know. We are also getting blown sideways. I don't know whether you guys can see. 
we are listing quite heavily to the side because we're getting hit in the side by the wind. But we'll never tip over because this boat is amazing. Anyway, we're also getting pretty close to the dock. Um, which might be a little bit of an issue, but I, I don't know. Oh, it's getting close. It is getting close. Come on. Come on. Oh, please say we can do this. I'm going to turn off the autopilot and I'm going to control it myself. I'm going to control it myself. Here we go. Turn ourselves around a little bit. Let's go. Turn ourselves around. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Okay, we need it to lift us up and over the dock while we're also going forwards. So we are moving forward slightly. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I did a boo-boo. We flipped over. We're upside down. Oh, no. I waited all this time for this. This isn't what we want. Oh, the containers move. I didn't even know that. I did not even know that. Oh, we might be able to catch up. This will be fine. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, right. Slow it down. Slow down. Slow down. The back end seems to just go under. It's not right. It's not right. Okay, come on. Come on, we gotta catch up. We really gotta catch up. Oh, God. Come on! Come on, stop. Stop being weird. Slow it all the way down. And go. Go, 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 go. Before it gets to the beach. Before it gets to the beach, we need to, we need to follow on. Come on. No, I can't catch it. I can't catch it! Oh, we've just beached the whole thing! Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, we've just left our, our boat on the beach. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Um, it, it did flip out a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, we did end up rescuing these dudes. I would count them as rescued. Um, it doesn't really deal with tsunamis too well, because it flips out. But, it deals with the waves extremely well, so... Yeah, if you guys want a speedboat that um, can res you can rescue people with... Uh, then I'll check this thing out. I'm gonna link it down below and you guys can mess around with it for yourselves Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh And also we got all of this happening. Look at this. I don't know why the back end of this boat does this, but it's pretty cool Oh, I didn't even notice this. Look at this. There's some equipment on the sides too on that side and on this side presumably Yeah, oh, there's extra stuff. That's awesome. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.